Welcome back to another great episode of the He's Wrong, She's Right podcast, where all the simp men for Mike Glover are going to be in the comments talking about how Nona shouldn't wear that shirt. If you don't believe me, go check the other video's comments. I'm wearing a dress. Yeah, but they're still going to say, mm, you, that's what you, that's your product. Products? I'm in my mom's basement. Okay. Uh, I don't know what else to say. You sound like you're about to come. Yeah, that's what they're doing. That's what, exactly why they say that. Uh, gross. So, you guys are disgusting. So, disgusting. Or as Charlotte says, disgusting. So, we've got some stuff today to talk about. Okay. What kind this of is stuff? a last minute recording. So, when you guys see this, it'll be literally hours after we recorded it. Yes. Um, we've got the Trump trial mm-hmm. that is in deliberation right now that neither of us have been following. Yep. We've got. Brandon Herrera's election. Mm-hmm. That happened yesterday. Yep. We've got a Mike Glover update. Oh. Yep. Um, I think that's I think that's pretty much all hits right. all the hits all the P's and Q's. Da- dive right in, Andrew. Dive right in. All right. This episode is presented by nonaphelps.com. Check the link in the description. It's also presented by America's Technology Center of Excellence, Lee Max Media. Link in the description. All right. Talking about Brandon Herrera, his okay. election last night, uh, polls closed 7 p.m. Central Time, yes. and uh, reporting was coming in. They were pretty consistent. He was like, he's consistently about 1,000 to 2,000 votes back initially, Okay, and then he started climbing back as some of the other like obscure districts and stuff. I don't actually know the reporting order, but okay. it seemed to be that like the really, really small districts got him in slower than the bigger districts, oh, is what okay. it looked like. Um, lost by 409 votes, I think is what it, 409 or 419. That's a close, like that. close. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think they're going to recount? Probably. I went right before we started shooting. Mm-hmm. Um, I went to Brandon's Twitter to see if he had put out concession speech or anything and he has not. Ah, so, interesting. I do think that he's either hoping or requesting. I don't know what that procedure is. I don't either. Uh, Neither of us are in politics. But a good point that uh, my friend John Cardillo brought up is that Texas has open elections in the primary and runoff, meaning a Democrat, for example, could go to the polls and vote for Tony in the primary. Okay. So kind of muddies the water, especially when Tony specifically went on CNN. And was marketing to Democrats specifically. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I shouldn't say I don't know any uh, right-leaning or um, libertarian type people who watch CNN, but people watch it just to find points to talk about, so. Okay. It's, it's like when you when you consume content that you don't necessarily agree with just so that you have talking, talking points or relatable things, you know. Have you, you ever done that? Um... I can honestly say that I have never done that. Not politically, no. But I watch content that I don't necessarily care about to get ideas for like what the trends are for like editing and pacing and right. I could see that because it's you know marketing yourself and for the podcast. Right. But it's it's not a talk. Okay. Just you know, somebody wants to go into a debate or something. They want to know what their competition was talking about. So. The ratings okay. and re- the ratings and reviews, I'm sure, are like mixed. They're probably more purple for CNN and Fox News than they are. <laughs> that's that, that's what they consider the center. Really? Yeah. That's funny. So when you have like swing states, they'll typically like become purple. So mm-hmm. the, when you're showing the map of uh, you know this state's like diehard red state, and this state's diehard blue state, and they'll never change. And then you have Swing states, which are typically purple, okay. and then they'll change to the color that they voted for after polls close. So if it's overwhelming like a landslide in one direction or the other, they'll change the color. But they're typically purple in between. Libertarian is green, but there's never been a state to my knowledge that is, or maybe yellow. Yellow, not green. Gold, technically, I guess. You have but, completely lost me at this point. Well, <laughs> 
whatever. <laughs> so you just named all the colors in the rainbow, and we're talking about politics here. Brandon spent it's about to be Pride Month, so you're just gearing up for it. Brandon spent roughly one million dollars in his campaign. Okay, I had brought up something on Twitter. I don't know, like two months ago, roughly around when he forced the runoff. Okay, where I specifically said. I don't think Brandon will win because he's not running ads. Okay. You said that. Yes, I did. It's on Twitter somewhere. Somebody can look it up, I'm sure. And what I said was people like me who are not on social media are not seeing the people that were banding towards people, him and but the people, taking Tony but down. But the people going to the polls for the runoff mm-hmm. overwhelmingly were on social media. That's how they got them to the polls. You think the 55 plus those crowd people, those people are on? Those, those people didn't show up. Those are the people who those are people showing not, up. No, those people did not show up. Okay, I would love to see a age demographic. There are, there are voters. I'm sure that'll come out when this is all over. There okay. are voters that don't actually care who wins their primary. They just want their party to win the general election. So they don't even go to the primary at all. And those tend to be the older demographic. They don't care. If See, it's you. I think that it would be the complete opposite. Nope, nope. I disagree. They, they, they know that, like, if it's you or me or whoever mm-hmm. representing the party, they don't really care as long as there isn't something crazy out of the right field. Like just okay. yesterday, which it kind of came up last minute. Mm-hmm. They should have figure this out earlier but um somebody was accusing and, and pulled up texts and some other stuff um accusing tony of cheating on his wife while in dc so probably nothing will come of that because, oh my goodness yeah. i okay this is the first i'm hearing of it that i just I mean, learned about it yesterday like late last night when i was watching stuff come in who was uh what john edwards he got completely demolished because of that having a whole um that was here in North Carolina, obviously, but is that before I moved here? Yes. So I wouldn't. Yes. Have, I wouldn't have known. But her but name. but you, he was nationally known because he was running in presidential elections. Uh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, and he had um when a you whole said here in North Carolina. I thought you were saying. Like, but I mean, he lived here in North Carolina. Um, but yeah, his whole <clears throat> political career ended because if his Wiener, baby came out. If Anthony Weiner can continue to work. And can he those. though? I don't know. I I'm pretty sure I've seen I'm him pretty come sure up. he doesn't exist in anybody's I'm, mind I'm anymore. I'm pretty sure I've seen him come up. I'm pretty sure he's still Wienergate. Yeah, that's all he is. Okay. <laughs> so I'm sorry, guys. I keep touching my hair. Stop. I drove with the windows Stop. down. I made the mistake, Stop. and my hair Stop. is crazy. Stop. It's really bothering me, no. like Stop a it. lot. Stop it. So. Um, four hundred vote. I think it it was like just under thirty thousand, or right around thirty thousand people voted. Okay. Um, in his district. Okay. So, four hundred votes is just under statistically significant. It's like point point oh five. I think is between point one point oh one and point oh five. Point one or point five. Some jackass will will correct me in the comments. There's some statistician. That will watch this and be like, oh, this, this. So, but I think he's going to try and force recount. I would hope so. I would hope so. The last I checked as well, there was still like 98.99% reporting. Okay. So, I don't know if that point or 1.01% were like mail-in ballots and early votes or what Mm -hmm. that was. It didn't say. Right. So, I don't know. Who knows? Um, we can only speculate yeah. here in North Carolina yep. where Tony has been dragging yep. Yep. Brandon for East Coast fake. Oh, that's what he's calling him? Yeah. Oh. All because he was born here, right? Yeah. But his parents lived in Texas. His family's from Texas. They were stationed in Bragg. He was born in Bragg. Right. So, yeah. Okay. I'm an East Coast fake because I live in North Carolina. I, this 
Today is the first time I'm ever hearing this that, term, East Coast fake. What would that actually, so what would I be? I'd be a Hoosier fake since I'm from Indiana. Midwest fake. There's nothing fake about you being from the Midwest. You are Midwest born and bred. Casseroles. It's called corn fed and bred. Corn fed. Corn. Lots of it. Okay. Yeah. Whatever you want to. Whatever that's, you want to say. That's the term for all the big motherfuckers that you are play football and Give him all the casseroles and he's a happy man. Only green bean casserole. I don't care about any other casserole. What? Green bean casserole is the perfect food. Whatever. Bacon, green and, bean casserole. And oh my God, I made it with on. fresh green beans one year and he was like, how dare you? Green bean casserole is disgusting because it's no. made with canned no. No. green beans. No, it's perfect. Blech. Canned green beans. It's just mush. It's yeah. just mush. You're disgusting. Yeah, it's better. It's better. Anyways. It is better. Everyone knows it. You know it. I know it. She knows it. I'm literally telling you that you are disgusting. Absolutely not. Disgusting. Absolutely not. So, so anyways, I'll be curious. I, I, I looked at the early numbers cause I think he was supposed, he needed like 36 or 33% or something like that to okay. uh, secure the nomination back in March. Okay. So I'd be curious to see, I, it's buried and I, I, I tweeted this. It's like, I want to know what the voter turnout was in March mm -hmm. because right now, if you try and Google it, it's just all the new shit. Okay. It's impossible to find the numbers from March. Somebody has it saved probably in his own there, campaign. No, it's, it's on it's I'm public sure record. His, his campaign person yeah, has it's, it. It's public record. It's on news sites. It's it's everywhere. Yeah. But the problem is it's impossible to find right now because everyone is keyword stuffing and I didn't have time or the desire to sift through the bullshit. So I want to know if voter turnout was higher or lower. Okay. And then I want to know if Tony gained or lost any voters. Okay. Because at the time, I would I would probably say that he was an unknown. Because he, to the best of my Tony. knowledge. Tony. No. Tony's the incumbent. Okay. I was wondering who who's the unknown. Biden is unknown. Brand Brandon. You're talking yes. about Brandon yeah. as the unknown. Politically unknown. Okay. Oh. Okay. So you see somebody's name on the ballot that you've never heard of before. Right. You're probably just going to completely ignore them. You're either okay. looking for a specific person or the incumbent, mm -hmm. or you're writing somebody in. Okay. You're probably not just picking a random guy out of the fucking hat. And I'm sure somebody has done that. And I don't know, and maybe you can, I don't know. I've never seen anybody sitting there scrolling their phone, like looking up each person. As a... Are you even allowed to take your phone into the... I have, so I don't know. You can take your phone into, into the polling center. I don't right. know. Like, I meant like... Are. Pulling it out and yeah, what are the rules? Why can't you take a picture of your own ballot? Uh, well, I'm pretty sure that pictures aren't allowed. I've never seen a sign or anything that says that, but we've always voted in that elementary school. So mm. I don't know. Anyways, yep. somebody in the comments will school us, I'm sure, from their mommy's basement. Or North Carolina, in case you're wondering. So we are currently East Coast fakes. Um, I'm not an East Coast fake at all. I'm hey, born and bred here. What so are you talking? Brandon. That makes you an East Coast fake. I don't get it. He like was born I don't here and yeah, raised but, here. But he moved no, to Texas. Like I don't get it. He just moved to Texas like three years ago. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't get the fake. I just explained to you why. It doesn't make any sense. Does anything a politician says ever make sense? Remember, I coined the phrase: "Politicians are the root of all evil." Okay. On my Twitter from two years, two, oh, more than two years ago. Two and a half okay. years. Okay. Yeah. And it's true. You know it's true. Politicians are the root of all evil. No money's it. No. Politicians fucking control and create the money, you dumbass. Politicians are the root, the cause. Okay. Yeah. Anyways. So. 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 Um, I wanted to see real quick if there was an update. Okay. Find out. I don't know. If, uh, there's probably not going to be. 
I don't know. It's close to end of business day, day after his election. Yeah, so it's four, something 4 likely... Eastern time. The last thing he retweeted was a Matt Gates post 15 hours ago. He hasn't uh, posted in 20 hours himself. Okay. So does he have a campaign page or is he doing it all on his personal? Him, he, Donut, the the podcast, the unsubscribe podcast podcast, um, angry cops, veteran with a sign, a couple others, like they were basically doing it to the best of my knowledge, all organically. So I don't believe I mean I wrote a proposal yesterday for a veteran with a sign to take on marketing for him and to the best he wasn't running marketing up until that point so i doubt he was running it for the campaign right and when i talked to eli a week or two ago Mm -hmm. he was talking about the fact that they've never run any sort of promotion or campaigns marketing campaigns for the podcast at all but they are all naturally not naturally they are all organically famous because they were famous from other projects it's not natural it's just They've already done the work to get there. That's not natural. Okay. It's not natural. That's not the term. Trust me, you don't want to say the wrong words on here. You've already got people bashing you for using the wrong terms. But it's better for engagement, not correcting it. Okay, go better. ahead, bash yeah. me. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Well, All right, you, anyways. You don't read the comments. So you, you wouldn't know anyways. Yeah, so there's... There's no update. Uh, I'm going to check the... Well, I had a tab open in Chrome. Let's see here. Yeah, numbers haven't changed. 407 is the actual number. Okay. And there's still 98.99%. So 1.01% has not come in yet. Okay. Shifting gears. Shifting gears. Shifting gears. Trump trial. What do you know about it? Do you know what it's about? It's about the hush money, right? And various other charges. So from what I saw, they, well, okay. Let me backtrack real quick. My cursory look earlier, Trump had been posting on his social media platform stating nobody can, nobody can define or identify what the charges are, blah, blah, blah. It's all, you know, whatever. Okay. The judge overseeing the trial told the jury that on the three primary charges i guess that are that are being deliberated right four can have a verdict four can have a verdict and four can have a verdict like what the fuck that was i've never heard that so you can be essentially not guilty where is the precedent for that yeah not guilty because you didn't have a majority Mm -hmm. not guilty because you didn't have a simple majority not Mm -hmm. even just a majority and then not guilty because you didn't have a simple majority, but if it equals a majority, which it wouldn't, because that would be twelve out of thirty-six. I don't know the whole thing. So here's, as I've here's, said before, the math is not math. Here's my theory, right? Here's my mm-hmm. theory. Setting it up like that, mm-hmm. there's going to be some case law attorney, some blah blah blah, somebody that's going to escalate this, and they're going to take it to appeal. Mm-hmm. It, assuming he gets. He's convicted. Right. He's found guilty, whatever you want to say. Like I said, where's the precedent for that? So so hear me out. I think that the next move then would be to move for mistrial mm-hmm. and or appeal and say, mm-hmm. this has never happened before. Or maybe mm-hmm. it has, but it was struck down or it was upheld because of this or that. Mm-hmm. The entire thing, and I've said this about gun control stuff, mm-hmm. every time somebody comes out swinging and trying to take away gun rights from everybody in the country Mm -hmm. it ends up you know it might be upheld in the state or in a certain district or whatever then it goes to the supreme court and it gets struck down every fucking time okay and it bolsters the second amendment it makes it stronger because now there's additional case law that's gone all the way to the supreme court and it's been struck down you're not going to get that overturned in your local jurisdiction so whatever move they're making Mm -hmm. if this escalates he's convicted found guilty whichever Mm -hmm. and it moves on to appeals court or whatever more laws are going to be rewritten and all this does is hurt 
people like us because it makes it more difficult for us if something were to happen and to have somebody that commits a crime against us to be found guilty for their crimes. Okay. It's both hurting the judicial system, but also hurting the American people at the same time. The whole thing is a fucking joke. Yeah. Yeah. It's, he keeps going up in the polls. They keep. I, I haven't been following. They honestly. keep. They keep doing this bullshit. Trying like, neither of us are even Trump fans. And right. even as as a uh, uh, John said, you know, you can you can. The good thing about being American, is, you know, we have freedom of speech and everything like that. Right. You can talk shit about candidates or specific grievances with candidates and mm-hmm. still prefer them over the other candidates. Mm-hmm. If you gave me a bullet point list, right, of here's the accomplishments of Biden, here's the accomplishments of Trump, here's the things that I hate about Biden, here's the things that I hate about Trump, and you weigh that checklist, I'm going to prefer Trump if they're the only two options that I fucking have. There's nothing that Biden does that I prefer over Trump, regardless of how fucking retarded he sounds when he talks. And you as a libertarian, did you watch the uh, libertarian debate the other night? No. I didn't even know what was on. And that he was booed off. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah. So, okay. So that was actually taken out of context. Okay. That happened initially. And then he said he was going to pardon somebody. Right. And then they were like, yeah. So. But then I heard that it also, it still didn't really go in his favor. So the. From what I saw from the Libertarian Party on Twitter is that it did. They spun it positive. The Republican Party spun it positive. The only people that didn't spin it positive were the Democrats. Oh, okay. So it depends on which media outlet you consume Mm -hmm. and who you follow as to which side of the story you're going to hear. Speaking of, so back to the trial, um, the whole thing is because of the Stormy Daniels from 2006. No, it's not because of her. She's just a key witness. No, no, I understand she's a key key witness, but so the whole thing started because they had... You're saying how it was brought to light? Right. I don't know. I believe so. But she's just, she's just a, or is or was, whatever, a witness in this trial, but the trial is not about her. I I understand it's not about her, but... He's accused of like cooking the books and... Right. And then she was paid off. And because she was paid off. You'll have to look this up because I don't think that that has anything to do with this. It's just that they're trying to use her to bolster their case against him. So she came out with a book a couple of years ago. Everybody. If you're not. if you Because she obviously is trying to drag this out and make her couple dollars off of. And okay. Could you imagine retiring from, from being a porn star? And then being known it, for fucking Trump. Yeah. That's and writing like, a book. D- okay. So you consume porn on a pretty regular basis. Had you ever heard of her name? Have you ever seen any of her? Okay. No, but let me, let me say this. When I was growing up, mm-hmm. my dad's business partner got Playboy and Penthouse delivered to the office. And I think he had them at his home too. Um, so they would be in the men's bathrooms in, at, yeah, that that. Big. <laughs> My dad owned a commercial industrial construction company in Indiana, massive <laughs> warehouse building that you know materials and equipment. Like, I mean, we had a drive-in bay that we could drive our RV into with the trailer attached to it. Pulling. So in the bathroom, yeah, you had access to yeah. lots of beautiful pictures yeah. of all of these beautiful yeah. people. So anytime that I wasn't on a job site, if I was working for my dad and I was like working at the office for some reason. I just stroll right in the bathroom, take a poop, flip through a little magazine. <laughs> Anyways, Anyways, so they had an interaction in 2006, supposedly. Do what? I believe something happened between them? Yes, absolutely. Do I think she's milking it? Yes, absolutely. 
So that's he, what everybody's going to tell you to do. Any publicist or he is denying that anything occurred. She was paid off. Okay. And of course, ad after ad after ad. But uh, it does that does hurt your case if you accept money, right? And you sign documents. Mm -hmm. You kind of shoot yourself in the foot for any case that you want to bring up, right? That's why I so. Don't do it. 2016, he paid her $130,000 to keep quiet because of their 2006 celebrity golf outing in Lake Tahoe. That is okay. the numbers and the dates. Um, he was married to his wife. He doesn't obviously give a shit about her. Okay. It's about Melania. Um, but it's about the public's perception of him. And that's why, you know, he was a presidential candidate. He couldn't be known to have slept to with a porn star and for the first time in 2012. Well, it was not coming out then because it wasn't until 2016 that he paid her. Well, he ran again in 2016. And then let's see. He ran. He ran against Obama in 2012. Completely blacked that out from my memory. Completely. Um. But yeah, she apparently turned down magazine articles and such because she had signed an NDA. But then it came out, and it apparently quote unquote like blew her life up, as she's saying, and now she's running with it. And making money off of it. The jurors were dismissed for the day 18 minutes ago. Mm. So they're not asked not to discuss the case with anyone else. Blah, blah, blah. Of Which... course. Trump is charged with 34 felony counts of falsifying business records in connection with the payments. The trial see... is the first of his four criminal cases to reach a juror. There is, there is a uh, Twitter account where I think he's a journalist, but I'm not sure. Okay. Um, he was saying something along the lines of wanting to identify who one of the jurors was, as in he knew the identity. Oh, and he wanted other people to know, but he's like, I can't talk about it. And apparently, they're worried that this person is on the fence on the charges. And so people are like, so you're legitimately posting publicly right now? Yeah, no, that that's... you want to interfere with this process? No. We'll see how that goes for him. Yeah, not good. <laughs> not good at all. Yeah. I mean, if if there's any sort of even if it look even if it appears that mm -hmm. there's interference. Right. His legal team is gonna jump on top of it. Mm -hmm. You should have just shut the fuck up. Would that be automatic mistrial or uh, no? Like they'll present the facts and this and that. The mm -hmm. juror will be, you know, uh relieved. They'll have to They'll bring in find one of the, in new jurors. No, they'll bring in one of the backups. They ha they have backups. Yeah, I know, but I mean, at that point, you might have to replace the whole. It depends. He would have to make that argument, mm -hmm. unless the judge really thinks that the outcome is that tainted. It is. I mean, do you th honestly think that anybody in that courtroom is looking at this with? open he, eyes he has already the judge has already done several things that has made his opinion yeah. clear yeah yeah so um so there's two people who aren't following it and yeah. know this <laughs> but, but even, yeah even if he's even if he's convicted he can still run for president mm-hmm did you hear that secret service was outfitting jail that he would or prison that he would potentially go to no because as a former president he would be he would actually go to prison i don't i don't know they're just lining it up just in case i'm pretty sure he wouldn't i'm almost house like, arrest is that what you would think something along those lines yeah there it I mean, Martha Stewart went to prison. Okay, but she's also not a politician. Or a I know. 
She doesn't have anywhere near as much money as he does. I know. Near as many business dealings that would be. I know, but there's enough people who want to set an example that it doesn't matter how much money you have. Setting an example isn't, um, doesn't have the standing legally. You can't just do something because you want to set an example. (laughs) There are some nuanced. Stop dying. There are some nuanced things that you could potentially do or say. Mm Mm-hmm. And there are avenues to approach it where you can say, I'm carving out a little bit here, or I'm not going to reduce your sentence from this to this, which I would normally do Mm -hmm. because I want to set an example, but you can't go above the prescribed values. No, I understand that, but I definitely think that the judge is biased and is going to be trying to throw the book at him. If the maximum sentence, let's throw this out there, is 10 years. Okay. The the judge can't say, I'm going to give you 11 years. Right. No, I understand. Yeah. Okay. He's going to go for the full 10. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see probably tomorrow after this episode comes out. Oh, it's, they're deliberating tomorrow? Yeah. If they were dismissed, then they haven't, they were dismissed for I, the day. I don't, I come. So they haven't reached a verdict yet. No, I understand they haven't. I thought it was continuing for several more days. No. Well, it, it's it, been going on for an entire they month just now. At this entered point, deliberation today. Like it's literally been going on for an entire month, they right? Just entered deliberation today. Oh, I missed that. Sorry. That's why it's. It's been a hard. long day. So. Which speaking of, you put up a poll on your. Yeah. And what's the verdict? I saw trending. I didn't what's know this verdict? was going on. I didn't know they were deliberating, and I saw. So there were the four or five trending topics. One was guilty. One was not guilty. Um, I can't remember what the other ones were. They were completely, totally unrelated. One of them, I think, was a baseball thing. Okay. It's not even baseball season, right? What? Yes. I don't know. Baseball season's like I'm talking about February for... till October. Okay. Kids' baseball season is over. No, it's not. Yes, the Little is. League. No, the Little yes, League. It no, it's not. The Little League World Series is in the summer. It is not over. No, no. I'm, I'm it's talking about for... just regular. No, it's For not baseball. over. No, it's not over. <laughs> it's not over in any sense. Really? No. Basketball is still going on. They're in the what? playoffs. Hockey is it's still going large. on. Hockey I'm is, so confused. Hockey is still going on. They're in the middle of the well, playoffs. Well, we finished soccer last week. So according to me, all sports are done. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was supposed to be done a month ago. Yes, that, that is true. So... Um, yeah. What's your take? Yeah, what is your take? Is guilty, guilty or not, not guilty? Yeah. Let us know. <laughs> All right, give us that Mike Glover update, Andrew. All right, so my secret, top secret informant that everybody knows about. That everybody knows about. Yeah, on Twitter. His secret lover. Yeah. <laughs> Follow the link. There's, there's in the videos that we've already talked about, um, there's a link to his thread on Twitter. Yes. But he messaged me Ooh. two days ago. Okay with new information that says and i don't i don't necessarily read this like this it says it's an amendment um from the judge uh roger griffin in utah okay and seemingly because it doesn't actually say that the previous charges have been dropped or whatever it just so this could be in conjunction with or yeah it might in lieu of, so we don't the, know. The, the charges that are on this amendment okay. are all misdemeanor charges, but they all carry the domestic violence qualifier on them. Okay. And there was another um, assault with d- domestic violence modifier. Is that right? Okay. So, what I think, my opinion mm-hmm. here, is that one of two things has happened and or will happen. Okay. Either... And I'm sure this is part of the truth. Um, the the officer, the investigators, everybody like that has probably re-examined all the information. They've interviewed all their witnesses. They've done all that that they would normally do. Okay. And between the prosecutor who has brought the charges mm-hmm. and Mike's legal team, mm-hmm. they have probably discussed potential plea deals. That would make sense. And because his girlfriend 
made statements on his behalf, mm -hmm. positive statements on his behalf, mm -hmm. they probably know that they don't have a witness who was the one who was injured in right. this. Th yeah. So essentially what it boils down to is we know this happened mm -hmm. and we know that you're responsible because both of you have admitted as much. Right. Um, and I guess there was more information. I haven't actually seen this statement, but um, I guess somebody, I saw it somewhere within the thread. It's like, there's so many, there's so many fucking posts in here. It's hard to like, I would have to bookmark each of them and it doesn't bookmark A them statement. in order. Yeah. So one of, one of the statements was that he had grabbed her arm after kicking the door down. Okay. And then was holding her wrist and threatening to break her wrist is what she told police. That wasn't what uh -huh. I read originally in the original statement. Okay. But the officer has added additional information. So that is what she said. Yeah. yeah. In her initial report, and yeah. obviously is not and continuing even, to say that. I don't know how many subsequent interviews she's had and who all she's talked to and, and everything like that. But I, I 100% believe that he is going to try and plea down to mm -hmm. something that doesn't carry the domestic violence modifier. Okay. He'll probably take something. What would that even be? He could still get all these charges and still be okay, but if he takes the if any if he's convicted of any of the domestic violence charges mm -hmm. or anything that's that has that modifier on it, he loses his right to own and carry firearms for the rest of his life. Which is literally his entire a, life. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's a felony or not. Mm -hmm. Just the domestic violence qualifier. Gotcha. In, especially, I guess it's in Utah specifically. Just one count disqualifies him from all future gun ownership. So. He needs something along the lines of a miracle to happen. Because just like we were talking about with the Trump trial and mm -hmm. trying to make an example of somebody, we would have to actually look into this, but I don't know. Um, I don't know if the judge has, you know, I, there, I have to imagine it's public record. It's it, They're like history and, and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And who knows if it goes to trial or not, right. or it goes to jury. It might be handled right there. You know, in court in front of the judge, he might take mm -hmm. a plea or might go to jury. Who knows? I I have to imagine that he'll never make it to a jury. I don't think he will let it go to a jury. He will do everything in his power. And I think that the prosecutors have gone out of their way to ensure that the charges stick so they have more negotiating power. Because as I explained to you before, if you go entirely too high with your charges, mm -hmm. And then the person's found not guilty. You can't go back and charge them again. Right. They're just free and clear. Right. So you come down on the severity of your charges, knowing that you have a stronger case now, mm -hmm. and then go to court with it. Mm -hmm. So both sides are very clearly working some negotiations, trying to make some things happen. I'm going to say... I'm going to I'm going to guess now. Mm -hmm. He's going to take some sort of plea deal mm -hmm. within the next couple of weeks cuz I think they said they wanted 5 weeks to trial. Okay. So maybe as soon as next week. Mm -hmm. I think that as soon as next week we hear that he's taking a plea deal. It's been modified that there's no domestic violence qualifier on it. Mm -hmm. And he accepts. So another thing that I learned the property that they were living at was a rental. Rental, yes. Yeah. And because he damaged yeah. the rental property, yeah. that is where the charges yeah. are actually yeah. coming from. Yes. Yes. So I think that's the one that's going to stick the most. Yeah. Unless his landlord gets paid off. No, that's not going to happen. They'll He'll fix it. And he'll probably want Mike out of there because he... Or from what the original statement was that they were breaking up. So maybe Mike's out. She stays. I don't know. This will not be the first situation where a woman or man gets hurt and they still end up staying together. If you believe what the commoners are saying, she has a colorful history of domestic violence and against him. And all right, these... They clearly have a toxic relationship. 
Yeah. There well, one of the comments, a large age gap. One. Yeah. And they have how many children together? I don't, I don't know if, so I know that there's three total kids. I don't know if the twins are hers or the other one is hers. I don't know. But what somebody commented about, I don't know, two or three hours ago is they said it's, it's his Asian culture coming out or something like that. I was like, uh, please explain. It's like, oh, it's, it's well known that, uh, the Korean culture, they're, they uh it was like part of like their heritage not a heritage or part of their history or part of their culture is that they always beat their wives into submission and all this other stuff and mike's part korean so it's like but and then you also have the white side and everybody knows that white people are known for domestic violence so that's terrible our commenters are all over the place and so here's the other funny part overwhelmingly the reactions to the videos Mm -hmm. have been positive there's far more positive thumbs up reactions to all those videos Mm -hmm. than there are thumbs down okay on all of them the shorts and the full-length videos okay but the comments are the exact opposite okay the people that are commenting are the people simping for mike very, very few. There's a couple in there, and then there are some sane people who are like, oh, well, I'm kind of on the fence about it, and that'll make a comment, and then they're like, yeah, I could see that. One of them was regarding the judge wanting to make an example. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, okay, now that you said that, yeah, I can see that. Depending on party lines of the judge, mm-hmm. which I believe you're not supposed to fall in either direction, no judge is truly impartial, but even they, though they're supposed to be. They are in a conservative state. They are, you know, in uh, the under the under the thumb mm-hmm. of the Mormons. Mm-hmm. It really like <laughs> is Mike a Mormon? I don't know. In all of your research, you I haven't. Research him. I didn't research anything about him. Everything that I know is stuff that I know from talking with him or meetings with Fieldcraft and then this stuff. I don't go and look up anybody's fucking religion. I don't care about that. It might. Okay. So for that show that we watched a couple weeks ago, I don't think shit like that will fly these days because everything's publicized and it has a broad reach back then. In like Mormons the 70s. are very tight lipped. Right. That was all I but was getting what, at. What I'm, was, saying, what I'm saying is like, is this community even smaller than in the seventies? Right. You get, uh, whatever the, whatever the term was, the church kicks you out temporarily or whatever. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> if you just move mm-hmm. and start over, there's a good chance that nobody knows who you are and they'll never figure it out with some exception. Move to a small town somewhere. We're talking about the 70s still, yeah, or are we yeah, talking about 70s, present day? 70s. Okay. Now, people in small communities mm-hmm. are generally more connected to social media because that's what connects them with the rest of the world. Right. So they consume it at a higher rate than people that are in a bustling area where they're more or less interacting with people on a day to day basis. Okay. So, like, I get asked all the time, they're like, oh, we're we're having this person on our show or this and that. Or, I mean, there were events that I went to when I had worked for that other company. And, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, they're, they're name dropping. That dro- other company. They're name dropping people. And I'm like, I don't know who that is. And it wasn't like a slight. It's just, mm-hmm. I don't know who every actor is either. Right. I don't either. Yeah. I, I just don't. Mm-hmm. I don't know every veteran. It goes back to that joke that I've told you before. No, I don't know your cousin Steve. It's it's a running joke that you'll run into somebody like, oh, you're in the army. And, yeah. Oh, do you know my cousin Steve? No. There's hundreds of thousands of people just in the army. No. Do you know everyone in Wilmington? No. Exactly. I've I've never heard this joke before, so I, told, I just thought I it was you. terrible. I told you. I've told it to you before. Dumb. Yeah. Dumb joke. Yeah. So anyways. So anyways. Anyways, mm-hmm. so yeah, I think I don't know. 
Yeah, I think he's going to accept a plea deal. I don't think. Yeah, I, don't, I think it's going to come down to property charges. I don't see jail time. Damage. I don't see jail time, but I do see probably some sort of restitution, yes, both for the homeowner and for her. Um. Yeah. Absolutely. Maybe they're not gonna. They're not gonna. Let Again, the fact that she's not speaking up for herself in any regard, she's, it's it's not she's, helping. But the the state has stepped in. Obviously, but they can only do so much. They can subpoena her and force her onto the stand. And then she wait, they're just girlfriend and boyfriend, right? Yeah. Not married. Yeah. Okay. I mean, she can still sit there and not actually say anything. She will be compelled to or held in contempt. Exactly. She's not going to be held in contempt. I well, guarantee you she's if going they to... have that toxic of a relationship, then her viewpoint would be she's not I'm gonna... going to show him that I love him so much she's by not going not... to go to jail for him. She's not the the other thing that I want to bring up for the people that have made it this far in the video is it's very telling that they have not charged her with anything. Mm -hmm. Still, mm -hmm. everybody's saying, "Oh, she she hit him first. She did this. She did that. She was having a a, a manic episode. She was doing this. She endangered the children." Which again is that documented? No, probably not. The but. But my point the mental with, history my, is that documented. My point though is that there have not been charges brought against her. Right. If any of that had any sort of weight, right. they would have brought those charges. He would have had a leg to stand on. Mm -hmm. But because they haven't, right. it kind of tells you all you need to know. And everybody's like, oh, your podcast channel, uh, I know you you must always side with women in domestic situations and you have a black rifle sign and oh that tells me everything i need to no dumbass he lives in a fucking red state controlled by the mormons mm -hmm. the fact that they haven't charged her with anything is all you need to know if she truly had endangered the children mm -hmm. and they had some sort of proof that she did mm -hmm. they're gonna bring charges right Child Protective Services is going to get involved. Mm -hmm. They could potentially both lose the children mm -hmm. because she's not stable enough to have them without her. Mm -hmm. And he's not stable enough to be in the relationship mm -hmm. and potentially committed this crime in front of this child. Right. They have ground to take both. Mm -hmm. So by not charging her, they've they've kind of given her incentive to talk. Because if but she's still not because again they're in a very toxic relationship. You don't know that though. You're making assumptions. By her you don't voicing know that. positive words on his behalf. She was talked to she court. Was already, she was already talked to though, and she hadn't called the police before she went to um the hospital. Mm -hmm. So it could be any of number, any number of things. Oh, we can work it out. We don't need to get the police involved. Whatever. It was going to come out. I mean, you were the one who said that she said, "Oh, I just want us to be a family." That, and... Yeah, but that was after Evan had talked to her, right? So that entire statement just Evan? gets thrown out. Yeah. That, so that entire statement gets thrown out. It's that's it's gone because that's already that's witness tampering. Yeah, it's gone. It's it's off the table. That whole statement is out. No comment. Her original her original statement is the only thing that's going to be brought up. She can't she can't tell the story and then also give a character statement on his behalf. Mhm. Mm and that's exactly how the court is going to view it. His defense team will try and bring it up. Mhm. Mm but the judge probably won't want to hear it prosecutors aren't going to let it in so Anyways. again as i said i still think he's fucked just maybe a little bit less fucked but potentially more fucked because they haven't dropped any of the charges they've only made it easier for them to, to stick to push forward and stick so you think mike is guilty and fucked what do you think about trump i didn't say he was guilty I'm not making guilty, non-guilty verdicts. Well, I'm giving my I was opinion. going back to your poll. 
I'm giving my opinion on what I think is going to happen. That's exactly what it is. With the information that I have available to me right now, that is how I think it's going to play out. Okay. That's not saying anybody's guilty or not guilty. I was just going back to your poll. Um, I don't know enough about the Trump case. I'm sure he is guilty by proxy because he's not the fucking accountant. Making right, right. He, the person who used to be his lawyer turned into his fixer has already admitted to doing all of the things on his behalf. There you go. So it's not him doing it. I mean, that's that's going to be part of what the jury is deliberating. Mm-hmm. He didn't have his fingers on it. Can we actually prove that there was communication between these two people? All of that matters. Okay. So it does. In the legal system, all of that matters. And you want it to matter. Because if bring all the receipts, yeah. If something were to happen, if you were involved in something by accident, Mm -hmm. whatever, Mm -hmm. the the technical details and the technicalities. Oh, I said this to this person because I was in a situation I was trying to get away from them. It wasn't. I didn't actually ask them to do it. Like shit, like that matters, right? If if we're talking about like human trafficking stuff, Mm -hmm. for example, right? Like if you just want to get away. Okay. You might be like, okay, okay, yeah, I'll do that. And then, like, you get away, and then you're like, no. And you go and okay. report I'm saying if you're a woman in that situation where somebody's prospecting and being like, hey, would you be willing to do this? And then they're like, if you don't, we're just going to kidnap you. You're going to be like, yeah, yeah. And then as soon as you get away, you're going to report them. Okay. <laughs> so that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, you could... And somebody's going to misconstrue that and say that that's what how Trump is going to handle it. But I'm, I'm I'm talking about the technicalities of things. You have to have, you have to be able to connect every dot. It can't be just, well. And following your brain sometimes is no. It's easy. It's very easy. If you if you make this statement right, okay, and this is the result that you want, mm-hmm. or that you believe this statement is derived from or connects to. You Mm -hmm. have to be able to prove every single point in between without any reasonable doubt. No, that I agree with, yes. That's exactly what I've been saying this whole time. And it took you a really long way to get there. No. Mm -hmm. No, Anyways. No, I said it with different words. All right. Thank you guys for getting in. Yes, we are done. No, I'm not done. We are done. I'm not done. We're done. No, I have more to talk about. We're done. No, I have more to talk about. We are done. I have more to talk about. We are done. I have more to talk about. We are done. I have more to talk about. See you guys on the next episode. So I want to talk about the AK-50 again. I'm just kidding. What? We're done. Are we? <laughs> yes, oh, we're so I actually, done. Should I take the thread? The thread? Yeah. Let's see if there was more information added. We're right, done. Anyway, see you guys next week. Bye. Or yeah. I think I'm already done recording. <laughs>